Greetings Internet and welcome back for another Early Mornings presentation. So as has become my now usual, my ritual again, I went over to the Goodwill again this weekend and I didn't find too much, but what I'm lacking in quantity I made up for in quality. So one thing that my friends and I like to do is playing the good old game of Uno. And I don't mean that digital one where, you know, you're online and you like playing the, the virtual version. We actually play the card game, you know, where we're in person with each other playing the cards. And I don't know why. I guess I'm dealing out the cards in my mind here. Anyway, so as I was saying, before I so rudely interrupted myself, my friends and I like to play the uh, ye old game of Uno. And while, while I was at the Goodwill, I happened to track down... <laughs> Dang it, that yawn would not be stopped. Whew. Anyway, I happened to track down a copy of Uno Attack, I think it is. And I say I think because the little machine that I bought doesn't actually say Attack on it. But, for five dollars, I managed to get this bad boy. Which I believe, like I was just saying, is the Uno Attack version of the game. And it came fully stacked. Don't know how well you can see it, but right down inside of here appears to be a full deck of Uno cards. But, it also came with da, 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 a set of high school musical Uno cards. Now this, I honestly don't really give a rip about this because, you know, who gives a car, uh, who gives a magic carp about high school musical? This is where it's at. Now, Yesterday I didn't get to check and see if it worked. Thankfully I've, I've since put batteries into it in preparation for this. But how the game works, I believe, is you're supposed to push this little button, or not so little, this big button right here on the front. And it'll go off and it looks like it's going to make sound because there's like a speaker grill right there, there we go. There's a speaker grill, like, right here. So, let's see what it does. It might not actually be in the on position. Okay, it's on. If y'all hear that... Oh, okay, it is actually Uno Attack. See, the cards that just got spat out actually say it on them. And it just spat three cards at me. Hmm. I got a four, a one, and a reverse. All in blue. So now what I get to do is turn it off. Now that I know it at least somewhat functions. And I get to ever so nice and neatly jam these things right back where they came from. There we go. There we go, we're all set. We're all good. So we got a working, functioning Uno Attack game. Yeah. And the other couple of things I picked up, like I said, I didn't get quantity, I got quality. First of the two things I picked up was this. A sealed Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, what's this thing called again? Scene Maker. So I get to make a scene with this. Now, for those of you who are like, what the heck is a scene maker? Essentially, from what I can gather looking at this thing, y'all know those um, pop-up birthday cards, those pop-up storybooks? Essentially, it's like that. Like, you've got this big piece in the back here, and then you've got this Leonardo popping off on the front with a sword like, yeah! Or, uh, sorry, like, yeah. And when you put it all together, the background would be in the background, and Leo would be popping off of it, 
we can kind of get the idea from this picture on the back. Don't know how well y'all can see it because there is one the hell of a glare. But that's basically what you would get. Now the funny thing is, the reason why I picked this up, let me hold on just a moment. The funny thing is, at the same Goodwill, I managed to track down the other three of the four brothers, pictured on the back here. I found Raphael, Mikey, and Donatello. And I thought that I picked up the Leonardo. But, as fortune would have it, this weekend I was going through my boxes of Ninja Turtle collectibles, and in the very bottom tub, in the back of the big stack of tubs, I happened to track down the other, you know, the other ones from this set. And lo and behold, I was in fact missing the Leonardo. But here's the thing. Because I thought that I had this one already, I wound up skipping over two of these that were at my local Goodwill. They were literally just sitting on the shelf where I found the first three. And I was like, nah, I've got that, I'm good. So I'm digging around in there and I discover I don't have this one. I wasn't good with the collection. I was like, oh, crap. Because there's a, and the reason why I got like, you know, oh crap about it is to put it simply, I've got this karma where if I see something I really want, but I decide not to buy it, It'll just languish, it'll just sit on the shelf indefinitely most of the time. But then, when I finally changed my mind to go, hmm, you know on second thought, I think I will buy that thing. When I go to get it, it's gone. I think I've mentioned this before. So, that's the reason why I was freaking out, because it's like, oh, that's cool. I've already got a couple of those, I don't need this one. And then it's like, Oh crap, I don't have that one. Oh no! Because <laughs> I thought for sure that both of these that were at the Goodwill had been sold. But, by the powers of all that are nice in the world, this one was still there. Granted, it's not perfectly sealed. You know, there's a bit of a gash in the side of the plastic here, as evidenced by Leo poking out there. But, it doesn't matter to me. What matters is that I got it. And now I have it to add to the collection. Now, for the pièce de résistance, because I only got these three, technically four things. But, for those of you not in the know, the 2K12, aka the 2012 Ninja Turtles series, had like everything you could imagine in terms of collectibles and you know little bits and bobs here and there that people could purchase. One of these sets was a set of coin banks. Now the coin bank is essentially, well for this set, is like from here up you get like the posable arms, the posable head, and they come with their weapons. And Originally, I only had the Michelangelo from this set, which a friend of mine, a very good friend of mine, purchased for me as a Christmas present. But now I've got Mikey and Raphael. And as I was saying before, they've got some posability to them. Not quite the same level of posability as the action figures that they're based on, but they've got enough. And you can turn the head and whatnot. The only problem with Raphael here is, if it wasn't already obvious, he is missing his size. Or at least the top half. Because if you look at the bottom of his hands, see these little brass, almost golden colored pegs here? That's supposed to represent the bottom half of the side. But otherwise, he's in great shape. He still has the little stopper thing that goes in the bottom here. And his joints are a little loose, like see, but once you move his arms up far enough, 
they are still nice and tight to an extent. I've actually been wanting to get the other three from this set, but usually at the place where I've seen these, this, uh, this place called The Exchange, where you can get like uh, old video games and records, uh, DVDs, and of course collectibles like this, they want $15 a piece for these guys. $15 a piece. It's like... Arrgh, I don't want to spend fifteen dollars, but I want to have them all. But this little fella was only six, so I was like, I'll buy that for six bucks. <coughs> so yeah, I am very happy with my purchases. Now this I basically got, like I said, for my group of friends, so we can actually try Uno Attack without having having to spend, like, basically 15 bucks on that. You know, spending a lot of money on it. And these I got because, well, there's no doubt about it, I'm a turtle nut. Whoop, come on, Raphael, sit up. Thank you. So, put these back here where y'all can actually see them, precariously, right on the edge of the table. That, 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 come on. There we go. And Uno attack for the win. So, thank you all for coming back and enjoying another one of my videos. I do truly and greatly appreciate it. If you like what you've seen here today, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that little bell icon to be notified of future uploads once you are subscribed. And also, the big one, don't forget, if you liked my content and you think you know someone who would enjoy it as well, feel free to share that content. So with all of that happy horse hockey out of the way, this is Oxlimation saying, cowabunga, and I'll catch y'all next time. Later! <laughs>